Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where we cover optimizing your Instagram photo to increase viewership. In this module, we're going to learn two main things, which are the technique of taking beautiful photos of an object or person and how to edit your Instagram photos with a photo editor app. Instagram is an online mobile photo sharing site where users can take pictures and share them either publicly or privately on the app. In April 2012, Facebook acquired Instagram for $1 billion US. Instagram then grew by 23% as a result. There are as many as 500 million active users every month as of June 2016, and it's not going to stop there. This would indicate that Instagram is here to stay for the long haul. As Instagram is a photo-driven sharing app, the strategy here is to get as many views on your uploads as possible, and this is done primarily through optimizing your photo. Normal and bland photos do not quite do it these days because everyone is doing it and audiences get desensitized. A normal bland photo could easily be ignored and overlooked just by scrolling through. Photos need to be taken creatively and have visual pop to cut through the noise created by other photos. This is achieved through photo optimization. So first, let's cover taking product photos. The most important part is to understand that photos are used to communicate your idea and your message, be it your brand message or your campaign message. For example, if your brand identity or the business that you're in represents fun, progress, and youthfulness, then you could consider posting photos of the beach, road trips, parties, and the like. Similar if your brand has the elements of authority, leadership, and poise. You should consider uploading photos of people in suits and ties, gala parties, wine, and other similar associations. The point is, you need to be sure of the three keywords that represent your brand or business to have these strategies and tactics work best for you. Now back to optimizing your photo. The first thing you need to take note of is the background. Find a nice and clean background for your product. Less is more. The purpose of having a background is to make your product stand out and grab the attention of your audience. It's okay to have a clean and simple background because the spotlight is on your product. Also, you can consider having contrasting colors as your background. For example, your product is bright yellow in color. A plain black or white background would be the best choice. You don't want to bombard your audiences with too many colors on their Instagram feed. Next is the composition of your photo. A good composition makes a huge difference in your photos. The first thing to take note of is the quote, breathing space of your photo. Imagine if you walk into a storeroom that's small in size and packed with stuff, you'll definitely feel cramped as there's very little space for you to move around. A composition in a photo works much the same way. Leave sufficient, quote, breathing space in your photo so that your viewers get the message immediately unless cramped up photos are intended and maybe part of your brand's expression. The way you place your product is important too. There are two ways that you can consider, organized or casual. In organized, place your products in the middle of the frame to make it the focus point. You may also consider placing your camera on top of your product to create a top overview. This is primarily used as a product profile shot. It's clean, neat, and has a simple background. In casual, it's an extension of organized, where you place the product in its natural setting and how it's intended to be used. For example, a product like a bed sheet is taken in a room, set up just like how it's supposed to be used. The tricky part is you don't want to overdo it and make it look messy. Different angles communicate a different feel in a product shot. High angle shots create a dynamic feel to a shot. Products that are tilted towards the camera create an inviting feeling, and products taken from above produces a modern and contemporary look. As a general rule of thumb, you can always use the quote, rule of thirds for your photo composition. The rule of thirds is a technique derived from the use of early grid systems in composition. It divides a medium into three parts, both vertically and horizontally, creating an invisible grid of nine rectangles and four intersections. The primary element within a design is then positioned on an intersection of the grid. Next up are photo editing apps that will help you with designing and editing your photos. VSCO or Visco is a favorite photo editing app. It contains hundreds of filters and settings that people are able to use to create a unique photo. There are four kinds of filters in Visco with different settings that will bring your photo to the next level. First up is the analog filter named A4 in Visco. This filter turns the color of your photo into a brown-like warm tone, giving it a vintage feel. Next is the mood filter, called M3. This filter gives a hint of sepia tone to your photo and creates a nostalgic feel. It gives the illusion of your photos being captured from an old movie camera, and you can always adjust the setting to suit your objectives. If you're moving more towards a black or dark tone, this street etiquette filter, it pretty well does the job. It's called SE3 in Visco, and it changes the photo into a darker shade, giving an intense feeling to your photo. The last filter that I'm going to introduce is called G3. It's a portrait filter. 
This filter gives a sunny, warm tone to your photo, and it's very suitable for outdoor photo shoots.